Mountain Biking for Beginners, Part 4, Clipless Pedals. Contrary to the name, clipless pedals allow you to connect your shoes directly to the bike pedal. An alternative to this would be toe clips or straps. The benefits to clipless pedals is simple. With your shoe attached to the pedal, you can use your hamstrings to lift through the back half of the pedal stroke and your quadriceps to push through the front half. On platform pedals, nearly all your power comes from pushing through the front half of the stroke. For toe clips to be as efficient, you'd have to tighten the straps considerably and then keep them tight to prevent your feet from moving as you ride. There are several different clipless pedal options out there for mountain bikers. The most popular are the standard SPD, that's a two-sided clipless pedal, the egg beater, it's the easiest to clip into, and then the clipless flat, a dual-sided pedal. Since you're a beginner, the easiest and safest is the clipless flat dual-side pedal. This allows you to clip in when you want and flip them to the flat side anytime you like. A set like this made by Wellgo ranges between $30 and $60 US on eBay, and that includes the shipping. You can then expect to pay between $50 and $100 for the shoes. If you're like me, and sometimes you just want to hop on your bike for a short ride with the family and your flip-flops, this is a great option. As your comfort level grows, or you get a second bike, you'll probably then want to look into the egg beaters. Now, one of the biggest concerns people have with being attached to their bikes is falling. First of all, you're going to fall off your bike, clipless pedals or not. But if you are clipped to your pedals, you're probably going to remember it more vividly. That being said, there are a few simple steps you can take to greatly reduce the risk of a fall being a direct result to not detaching your foot in the proper way from the pedal. The most effective method is to stand over your bike and clip your right foot in and out 15 times in a row. Then do the same thing with your left foot. Then repeat the process at least 10 more times on your right foot and then again on your left foot. This will build your muscle memory, much like testing the clutch of a manual transmission before you start the car. Do this process before starting a trail section and at some point you're going to notice that you're using the foot detach motion unconsciously. Nearly everyone that goes clipless sees improvement in their riding and rarely do clipless riders go back to flats. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. Thanks, and have fun out there.